Hello, welcome to the MacMost Daily Vlog. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Today's hello, hello, hello. Feel that energy. We're so, going to talk about phones. cell phones. Well, well, okay. So, so we've had a bunch of things last week or this week or whatever. There's been several outages for RIM service, which is Blackberries. Uh, Blackberry users have found they couldn't access their precious devices, and of course, Blackberry users are like addicted even more than iPhone users. They have to be using them all the time. It, uh, so, has it caused any suicides? Not that I has it do we know of. anyone over the edge? Well, probably I can that these people would they would try to leave suicide well, notes on their. They would probably prevent suicides because they tried to do suicide notes on their <laughs> Blackberries. Like, ah! and they can't, and like, I'll put this off to tomorrow, and then they. Well, come they won't find out until the service is back on. Yeah. And then now iPhone users aren't immune because there's an iPhone outage too. Now a lot of people, very few people, myself included, have even noticed this because it's for iPhone Go users and the AT&T Go service is apparently some sort of prepaid plan that I didn't even know existed. Whoa, we I didn't know that existed. We prepay for iPhone service. So, and that phone obviously is working just so fine. this has nothing so. to do with Sprint? No. No, no. it's not. So, it's good. so so the question is, is like, what's the expectation for service? And when you have one of these super phones, you know, BlackBerry or iPhone or whatever, what, what's, I mean, should it be up all the time? And when it's down, do you get mad or do you just be like, well, you know, it's down, it's not 100%. Well, I want to be reimbursed. I mean, I've, I've had my internet go down at home for, uh, you know, 24 hours at mm -hmm. a time. And it, it just, you know, really screws you up. And I think, you know, if they're going to take your money so happily every every month is that they should be willing, if they're not providing the services, to reimburse you for the... Actually, doesn't um, Comcast and their fine print have a reimbursement thing if, it, thing if it's over a certain amount of hours? I believe that I they know. do. That's really my I don't know. You'd have to read that whole thing. I've and never... Then TOS to and then probably uh, have to complain and get it back. I mean... Yeah. I've never gone through, like, and and the effort, yeah, to do it because... Yeah. And then how do you know how long, I mean, if you come home from work, or say you go to access, going getting back to the mobile phone thing, well, you go to access your thing. phone and it's like, it's not working, has it been out for hours? Yeah. Have I missed any phone calls? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, uh, inconvenience, uh, yeah, you know, mental anguish, uh, you I should be able to sue at least as much for getting hot coffee in your lap. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that is kind of true. Well, but, if it's fun, um... But, but the thing, the thing with McDonald's is you don't have to sign a terms of service when you Oh, coffee. it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be there eventually. Uh, well, you do. I mean, but it's a bit, okay. So you you laugh at that, but you know, if you go and you go to Best Buy, and you go to buy some electronics at Best Buy, like I when I bought a a, a PDA once, mm -hmm. they actually brought out a sales service agreement for mm -hmm. me to sign that, and they would not sell me the PDA until I signed it. Oh, and so it said stuff like, like dies and loses right. you like it a says big multi million dollar deal because you're a big exec. It had stuff like if I fry it. my computer because static electricity on the cable mm -hmm. to whatever that they weren't responsible for it, stuff like that. So, I mean, if you know it was a couple hundred dollar <coughs> PDA and I had to sign this agreement just to walk out of Best Buy with it. Well, I had a cell phone outage and I took the cell phone back to. to to Sprint, mm -hmm. and, I, and I said, my cell phone's uh, not working, and they opened it up, and he said, that's because you dropped it in the toilet or something, because they had a moisture indicator inside the bathroom Yeah, it really smells. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. yeah. Well, I mean, uh, you know, I, I think people do have unrealistic expectations. I mean, it, it, I think they have unrealistic prices. So if we're going to well, go unrealistic, unrealistic on both sides, yeah, yeah, I mean, then make my service that's work. That's exactly this unlimited thing. For only one hundred dollars a month. Well, I, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I remember when I lived on a hundred dollars a month. Yeah, but to be fair, I remember when they first started offering unlimited plans, and they didn't even advertise them, and they were four thousand dollars. I met this guy that was like a business traveler, and this was in the early nineties, and he had a cell phone, and he went and he, t and he was talking on the phone the whole time, and he told me. He had a four thousand like dollar a month big. unlimited plan because he was a sales guy and he needed to be on the phone the whole time and it was worth it. Well, him. remember yeah, when, when the AOL used to charge for minutes? Oh, yeah. Know, and so and so, I think it's going to go the way of the internet. It's got to. 
And then didn't they get sued when they had an, a big outage? Well, I think Unlimited yeah. Way to Go Sprint is rumored to be releasing a $60 Unlimited plan to be the first one to go under the $100. Sprint? Sprint. Nah, it will never be Sprint. Sprint is like, no, it's a rumor. charge the it's most. It's a rumor. We'll see. Eat it. What else are you going to do? Expectation for service. Give us a we'll call. <laughs> Thank you.